good morning students children we are going to begin with the explanation of the chapter the adventure for class 11th behind this chapter the adventure as the word itself suggest that we are going to go with something which has certain adventures what an adventure adventure is something which brings excitement and thrills that can be different for everybody maybe for somebody adventure is going for a river rafting for somebody it is rock climbing for somebody adventure is um riding on a horse for somebody adventure can be cycling on a road right so let us understand why the word adventure have been added to this chapter and what does it means to say i'm directly going to begin with the story the jai mata ji express sped along the pune bombay route considerable faster than the deccan queen there were no industrial township outside pune the first stop lonavala came in 40 minutes the ghat section that followed was no different from that he knew the train stopped at karjat only briefly and went on at even greater speed it rode through kalyan what has been discussed a route jija mata expresses what what is jija mata express meet the name of a train right and the route of the train has been explained that it was going to take on bombay to pune route and considerable then the other dick and queen and it will going to take just 40 minutes and in that 40 minute lonavala will come mm-hmm. meanwhile the racing mind of professor gai konde had arrived at a plan of action in bombay indeed as a historian he felt he should have thought of it sooner he would go to a big library and browse through history books into the racing mind matlab when thoughts are running from one place to another you are filled with the thoughts ke what to do should do, do this or that professor gai konde has come up with a plan in action in bombay and he is saying that Uh, indeed as a historian so who is professor gai konde a historian he felt he must have got this thought earlier which thought he'll going to reflect that to us later he planned of eventually to return to pune and have a long talk with rajendra desh pande who would surely help him understanding what had happened they are talking about something and they're going to disclose us to this later that is assuming that in this world there excited someone called rajendra desh pande to whom that means professor daikonde has a good and a uh, exciting kind of a friendly kind of relationship with rajendra desh pande the train stopped beyond the long tunnel it was a small station called sarhad an anglo indian in uniform went through the train checking permit why because its name is sarhad that that means they that is to the border of some uh, like one of the border of our country and people came for the checking this is where the british raj begins as i told you that was a border you are going for the first time i presume khan sahib asked one person who sitting nearby khan sahib he asked him that are you going for the first time yes the reply was factually correct gangadhar pant had not been to this bombay before he virtue i a question and khan sahib how will you go to peshawar peshawar is into where is peshawar in the pakistan the khan sahib was sitting for pakistan 
this train goes to victoria terminus i will take the frontier ma mail tonight out of central how far does it go by the route so all of them are discussing how far does the train go where are they going as you know it happens that when you are sitting into a train traveling somewhere passengers are sitting together and the passengers keep on talking to each other they keep on asking the questions that where are you going how will you go how much train uh, like how much time will you take and uh, this kind of questions they are discussing and the train now pass through the suburban rail traffic the blue carriages carried the letter g b m m r on the side that you know sometimes you find that something is written on to it what says greater bombay metropolitan railway explain khan sahib see the tiny union jack painted on each carriage a gentle reminder that we are in british territory so it was painted and built up into such a way that it was not very difficult for them to understand that they were entering into the british territory it is making us one more thing very much clear that the stories of the time when the country was not independent the train began to slow down beyond daradan stopped only at its destination Victoria terminus the station looked remarkable neat and clean staff was almost dressed up finely anglo indian spares along with the handful of british officers and the like the surrounding onto the station have been shown that they found anglo indians on the station people were all dressed up well everybody was moving towards Uh, the station running here and there as we usually find this kind of scenario whenever go we go to some railway station as he emerged from the station then gandhar pant found himself facing an imposing building the letters on it proclaimed its identity to those who did not know the bombay landmark that means such identities were made by which it was not difficult for anyone to understand that where they were standing where they have come as certain landmarks were allotted and those landmarks were making it easier to understand to the people traveling that where they were and where they were proceeding towards we'll continue with this children you'll find it quite quite fussy because the chapter is more over of conversation of the people it is interesting to understand i'll tell you how